Hello friends, this video on physical and chemical changes part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Burning of wood. So again, this is also on similar concept. So when wood is burnt, what happens? So in presence of oxygen, uh, it gets converted into a lot of different gases like carbon dioxide is released, a lot of heat is released, water vapor, ash. So these are the products. So again, here also the the chemical composition changes. So during this process also heat is produced, light is produced and this happens in presence of oxygen. So wood burns in presence of oxygen. So a lot of other gases are also produced. For example, carbon dioxide is also produced. We also get some amount of ashes. So basically a lot of new products are formed. The process is also irreversible. So it is also a chemical change. Let's look at another interesting example. We will see that if you use a straw, take a glass, put some lime water into it. So what is lime water? Lime water is nothing but calcium hydroxide. And using that straw, if you blow in some air into the glass, that is, you are, what are you uh, blowing out? That is nothing but carbon dioxide because we breathe out carbon dioxide. So if you breathe out through the straw, you will see that the lime water turns milky. So that is again a change because initially it was lime water which was watery and now it has become milky. So why does that change happen? That also happens due to change in chemical composition. So what was this? This is basically lime water and what is lime water? It is nothing but a solution of calcium hydroxide that is calcium hydroxide powder mixed with water produces the lime water. So this calcium hydroxide and when does this change happens that it turns milky? It turns milky when we breathe out through the straw. So basically we are actually adding carbon dioxide to this solution. So when carbon dioxide reacts with calcium hydroxide, it produces calcium carbonate plus water. So this calcium carbonate due to the formation of this calcium carbonate, the lime water turns milky because calcium carbonate it is something which also help uh, is the constituent of marbles so again what is happening if you look at the liquid inside the glass a lot of chemical changes are happening calcium hydroxide getting converted to calcium carbonate so obviously this is again a physical change uh, this is again a chemical change now somebody might say that okay we we learned that during physical change the appearance or the color changes so in this case also the color is changing from lime water to milky so it should be a physical change but whether it is a physical change or chemical change that is determined by whether the chemical composition has changed or not. Now in this case the chemical composition has also changed and therefore it cannot be a physical change and it is a chemical change. Let's look at another interesting example. Have you ever seen a magnesium ribbon? I am sure all of you know what is magnesium, right? So this, uh, there are magnesium ribbons which are available which look somewhat like this as you can see here. It's like a, a rope kind of a thing which is silvery white in color and it is not very soft like ribbons. So it's like moderately hard ribbon. And the most beautiful thing about magnesium ribbon is that it burns with a brilliant white flame. So that is why that makes magnesium ribbon quite popular. So if you burn it, a beautiful flame comes out. Now, do you know what happens actually why this flame comes out and how this is again a change, right? As soon as you burn the ribbon, the ribbon is no more there. You actually see a white beautiful flame. So what is actually happening inside? Now inside this magnesium burns in presence of oxygen. So that is this process of burning in presence of oxygen is actually called combustion. So you learn more about combustion in class 8. So magnesium burns in presence of oxygen to form magnesium oxide. And this magnesium oxide is what? The ash which is left behind after all the ribbon is burnt. So when the entire ribbon is burnt, what are you left behind with? You are left with the ashes. So these ashes are nothing but magnesium oxide. 
So now just to experiment with things. In our previous lesson, we learned about acidic and basic nature of a lot of substances. Now, just to experiment a little more with this, what you can do is take this some of this ash and mix this ash with water. So what do you get? You get a solution. Now just try to perform the litmus test with that solution. So basically what you have here, this solution is nothing but magnesium oxide, that is the ash plus some water. And when you put a red litmus paper, it turns blue, which says that this solution is actually basic in nature. So that means what is actually happening here? Magnesium, when it combines with water, it produces magnesium hydroxide and magnesium hydroxide is a base and that is why it is turning the red litmus blue. So you see in each of these uh, things, either when magnesium combines with oxygen or when magnesium combines with water, a lot of chemical reaction takes place, new chemical substances are formed. So these are examples of again chemical change. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.